What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen 720, and I am back with another video. So, I guess I gave you guys a little tour of my man cave. And this one I'm a little stretched out right here. I'm gonna show you guys I'm stretched out. Look what I'm still going through. Look at this shit here. Look at all these bags. I still got to go through all these bags. We're still putting shit up, and you know, still putting shit up. It's crazy how much a family can accumulate in a year. Cause we moved into the apartment and we didn't even have any furniture. Uh, bought brand new furniture, you know. Um, and this is this toys, clothes, and sneakers. And I'm a big sneakerhead too. I'm a sneaker collector too. So anyway, I did a video yesterday. And uh, the donkey teeth, black bond. We're gonna have fun with this one right here. Did a video saying I was exposed. I'm a fraud. I can't own 5,000 games. So I'm gonna tell you something about me. I've been collecting video game consoles since the NES. That was my first console. I got into collecting things from my uncle, my grandmother's youngest son. He's a big, I don't, some of you guys, I might mention my uncle. So he's a big comic book buff. And he said he got me collecting toys, Voltrons. So what I would do for Christmas, or for, he would say he bought me Rodimus, Optimus Prime. Uh, this, one, this one Transformers were metal. He would told me to leave one in the box and it'd be worth money someday. And that's how I got to collecting toys. You know what I mean? I would just get them, leave them in the box, and hang them on the wall. So I've been collecting, like I said, I've been collecting video games. This is my backyard. I've been collecting video games, console. This is my little patio. If you guys can see it, patio. You know, I've been collecting video games and consoles, uh, you know, since the NES. It's a hobby, man. It's my hobby. I have a lot of hobbies. It's my hobby. Okay, we're going to have fun with this right here before I start today's video. So, um, I've owned every console that was released in North America and Japan since the 80s. Even, I, like I said, the NES was my first console, but I went, you know, recently later, I didn't play it. I, I played it before, but I would buy something, I buy things just to collect, put it up in a box. Well, you know, the Atari, um, ColecoVision, I owned them all. Put that right there. Owned them all, you know what I mean? In 1999, me. I opened up my own little mom and pop video game store on Central Avenue North. That's how I got into this. Is, this is leading to these, just bear with me. You know what I mean? Um, that's why I told you guys with these ship numbers, Microsoft and Sony sell their consoles to retail. Then retail will turn around and sell them to the consumers. Prime example, the GameCube, um, the OG Xbox, and the PlayStation 2 was out at that time. I would say for a PlayStation 2, I would pay about a buck eighty-five or so, some along those lines, and I would make about a fifteen dollar, fifteen to ten dollar profit off each console sold back then. <laughs> now you know why GameStop was so looking forward to sell you used games and used consoles, and for video games, say back then games were fifty bucks. I would for Madden, you know, I'd say I get forty Madden. Some little mom and pop store, I may get forty customers that come in buy Madden. Now I have five extra. Um, I would pay about forty-three dollars to forty. About forty three to forty five dollars a piece for those. You know what I mean? I have I had found another place that was a little cheaper, a uh, dollar fifty cheaper, but it's neither here or there. But also what's so unique about my store that I, you know, I was, you know, big into retro gaming, I would buy your older consoles, you know what I mean? Kids coming in with, you know, dreamcasts and whatever the case may be. That goddamn store was a money pit too. So again, you know, so like it, it was a money pit. They didn't really make much money, but it was it was a, a hobby of mine. I always wanted my own gaming store, so I can say it's something that I can say that I've done in my life. Those who know me know. So again, saying that I can't own five, like, you know nothing about me. Keep counting what's in my pocket. You know, why you stuck up in that attic? Just buy yourself a home. The other thing that I do, I buy and sell property. I'm going to keep this place here for about four or five years. And I'm going to sell it. Or I may rent it out and buy me another home. That's what I do. I find me a family that have Section 8 or something. You know, who want to who, who live in, you know, I'm not going to say where I live, but, you know, I, I do stuff like that. You know, but you keep counting what's in my pocket. Keep telling me what I can and what I can't afford. And I continue to laugh at you. But anyway, on to today's video. Ah, it burns, doesn't it? Did Microsoft ship 24.5 million Xbox consoles? Now, before I get into this arc, what you think about this? North America is the biggest consumer of everything. Okay? So you guys had this whole thing, well, Microsoft, those are just shipped to, those are ship numbers 
Sony sold to No, it doesn't work like that. They only sell the console once. Microsoft or Sony or Nintendo doesn't have any software that it tells them when someone buys a unit out of the store. Or some little country in Argentina, they don't know that. No. That's why they hire, like, the MPD. That's their job. You know what I mean? They, 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 like, it, it doesn't work like that. You know what I mean? But if you look at the MPD... Oh, stop, Maya. Stop. Leave the dog alone. If you think of, if you look at the MPD every month, let me do get numbers. The Xbox down 13,000, 14,000. And again, North America is the biggest consumer of everything. So if, they're, if Sony is barely beating them here in North America, you know what I mean? I don't know why you get with this whole, you know, Microsoft is being outsold five to one. And all this is a bunch of bullshit and a bunch of hype. If you add up Microsoft quarterly numbers, which is just left here in the... Um, in this article, I'll leave a link down below. In quarter, 2000, quarter 2, 2014, Microsoft announced 7.4 million Xbox units shipped. Uh, quarter 3, 2014, Microsoft announced 2.0 million units shipped. Quarter 4, 2014, Microsoft announced 1.1 million Xbox units shipped. Quarter 1, 2015, 2.4 million uh, Xbox units shipped. But anyway, it goes on and if you add them up, it gets about, you know, about tw close to 24 million units um and again you know i i, I think uh, it's i mean this is what you know this is strictly for microsoft it, but i just think when you guys go by that shit on vg charts i tell you that's not official this is you know what i mean like you know one of the biggest retailers are is walmart and they don't even participate in the mpds did you guys do that you know what I mean? Prime example. Like I just told you that I had my own little mom and pop shows. I never got any surveys or anything like that from, you know, the, no, it doesn't work like that, man. You don't know when someone walks into a store and buy it. doesn't, you know what I mean? They count by what's sold to retail. And retail turns around and sells it to the consumer. Same thing. Now, if Sony, I'm sorry, if Best Buy or Amazon had a problem Selling the X, I mean, the Xbox One or the PlayStation Four, they wouldn't ask for so much stock. You know what I mean? They wouldn't do that. Prime example: when the Wii U was struggling, you had stores clearing away the inventory, doing these fire sales. They were because you know shelf space is valuable. You know the Wii U was sitting. You had stores like uh, Costco's and Sam's Club. They were, they weren't stocking the Wii U anymore because they couldn't sell them. You know what I mean? Like well, what I'm saying in this video here is that the Xbox One. It's doing fine. Is the PlayStation 4 currently beating them right now? Yeah, slightly. Like I told you guys before, it, they're not down by that much. And especially here in North America. You know what I mean? It, I think it, it was less, they were down by less than 800,000 units or something. Probably less than that. Now, if they have a big November, big December, they out, prime example, the Xbox One outsold the PlayStation 4 last holiday season, I think about 700,000 here in North America. You understand what I'm saying? If they can do something like that again, they can pull even within this, within you know early, this year, early next year. You know what I mean? Microsoft has never had a presence in Japan, never. And the 360 still outsold the PS3 globally. The PS3 had passed it, then the 360 came back, you know, uh, again and surpassed the PS3. Stop so going. I told you guys, you know, Aaron Greenberg had tweeted it out. Uh, was it last year, Black Friday or something? Last year, Black Friday. Um, 360 did, did so extremely well. I sold the Wii U, believe it or not. Um, but anyway, you know, so you know, I, all that VG just not official. But how will we do this though? Fuck, forget about sales and who says this. Enjoy your console of choice. If you're an Xbox, do enjoy your Xbox. But it's sad to think of this generation has been nothing about sales and resolution. This is the deadest. Generation that I've ever been a part of. Like I said, I've been gaming since the NES. You know what I mean? I know we used to argue who was better, Mario, who was the better Mario or Sonic? What was the better game? When can we get back to talking about games? Now we're talking about ship numbers, the retail. Like this shit is crazy as hell. But anyway, some of you guys, well, no, that's bullshit. They why? Because like again, Microsoft. You gotta realize this though. You know, Microsoft is they don't. Care. They, they, they don't care to be glorified to be in the second place. They want to win. And they're not in first place right now. You know what I mean? They want to fucking win. You know what I mean? 
You know, like, it, you want to come over oh, now? We, you know, we 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 sit fifteen minutes. They, they don't they don't care about that. As long as the council was selling, which it is, you know what I mean? Then they don't have a problem with that. People talking, you know what I mean? They don't care about it. Microsoft just wants to make money. Prime example: Ain't you guys enjoying Minecraft? Microsoft said, "Thank you. Go out and buy it." You know what I mean? Look what they did with that, with the Havoc thing. You know that shit powers all games, damn it. You know they ain't, they could have got it cocky and looked, you know what and, and took away third party support and all the rival platform. No, Microsoft is all about a dollar, man. Like you comparing Sony to Microsoft is not even fucking close, man. I'm just keeping it real. There's no way that Sony can compete with them at all. That's why they're leaning so much on indies and multiplayer to help sell their console because they can't afford to make. Really, like, you know, I had to have, it's like, this, they, Sony can't afford to have six AAA games come out in a year, or five AAA games come out in a year. Next year, you got Uncharted. What else? Do you, am I, I give you, if you want to still count Street Fighter as being exclusive and those on PC, I'll still give you that. But what else? Next year for the Xbox One, you got Gears of War 4, Halo Wars 2. Killer Instinct Season 3, Quantum Break, Scalebound, Crackdown, Recall, I know I'm missing something else, and some other shit to be on it, like, like, god damn, but anyway, this is your boy, Next Gen 720, and, um, so, hey, listen, man, I need a helping hand, who want to help me come and pack some of these bags, man, look out for a big game of Small Talk Podcast later on tonight, and, uh, and uh, my, 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 today's video message, don't let hate consume you, like you say, believe half of what you hear, and, now you know, Believe, how does it go? Believe half of what? Oh, I got it. Believe nothing of what you hear and half of what you see. Think about that. But think about that. You keep judging me. I'm going to prove you wrong any time. Keep counting my pockets. That's why I sit and I laugh at you, jokers, man. I bet you that addict smells like mothballs, don't it?